Oh, hey guys, I'm Paula, and this is my friend Ari, and we were just talking about a guy named Daniel. Yeah, Daniel sounds super brave and super smart. He was brave and smart and so much more. And you know, he's got a story in the Bible. There's a whole book written about him, right? That's right, and he can teach us a lot about God. Are you ready to learn? Yes, can't wait. Where should we start? Well, let's start at the beginning. We'll start in Daniel chapter 1. Sounds great! Jehoiakim had been king of Judah for just three years when the Lord allowed Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, to surround the city of Jerusalem and attack it. Nebuchadnezzar defeated the armies of Judah and took objects from God's temple. He carried them off to his own temple in Babylon and put them among the treasures of his God. Then King Nebuchadnezzar ordered Ashpenaz, his chief court official, to bring some of the young Israelite men who were healthy and handsome and from noble and royal families. The young men had to be well-educated and able to learn and understand things quickly and easily. They were to be trained for three years and learn the Babylonian language and writings so that they could serve the king in his court and palace. Servants were instructed to give these young men a certain amount of food and wine from the king's very own table every day. Some of the men chosen were from Judah. Their names were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. But the chief official gave them new names. Daniel became Belshazzar, and the others became Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Daniel decided to ask the chief official for a favor. He did not want to eat the king's unclean food and wine. Doing so would go against the law that God had given to Moses. But the official refused, saying, I am afraid of the king. He is my master. He has decided what you and your three friends must eat or drink. Other young men are the same age as you. Why should he see you looking worse than them? When he sees how you look, he might kill me. Then Daniel spoke to one of the guards, saying, Please test my friends and I for ten days. Give us nothing but vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then compare us with the other young men who eat the king's food. See how we look. After that, do what you want. So God softened the guard's heart, and he agreed. He tested Daniel and his friends for ten days. At the end, they all looked healthy and well-fed. In fact, they looked better than the other young men who were eating the king's food. So the guard let Daniel and his friends eat and drink as they had requested. He gave them vegetables and water instead. God gave knowledge and understanding to these four young men. They understood all kinds of writings and subjects, and Daniel could understand all kinds of visions and dreams as well. When the three years of their training had ended, the chief official brought the young men to King Nebuchadnezzar. The king talked with them and found no one else equal to their level of understanding. And so Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah began to serve the king, giving him advice in matters that required wisdom and understanding. The king always found their answers to be the best. Other men claimed to get knowledge by using magic, but the answers of Daniel and his friends were ten times better than any of theirs. Wow, Daniel's story is so crazy. And one day, he went from being part of a noble family at home to being a servant in a faraway palace. That's right, and I'm guessing that was pretty scary too. Remember, everything changed for Daniel. The people, the language, the rules, even the food was different. Yeah, but Daniel knew God's rules for his life were the same no matter where he lived. That's why he didn't want to eat the king's food, right? That's right. Daniel made up his mind to obey God's word no matter where he lived, and God helped him. Yeah, God softened the guard's heart and let Daniel and his friends be put to a test. That's right, and then what happened? Daniel and his friends stayed healthy and looked better than everyone else. They probably had the biggest muscles, too. That may be true, Ari. You see, when Daniel and his friends chose to be brave and obey, God took care of everything else. Yeah, but it can be hard to obey sometimes, like when my sister and her friends are being mean. That's a great example, Ari. But what does God want you to do no matter where you are? I know. He wants me to be brave and obey. Yep, obeying is what God wants most, no matter what. And then we've got to trust that God will take care of the rest. He may not make your sister instantly nice, but you can be sure he will honor your willingness to do your part. 
So my job is to be brave and obey. That's right. You know what? Today was fun. I can't wait to learn more about Daniel. Me too. Hey guys, are you ready to play a game and see how much you've learned? Ari's going to give you some questions, and if what he says is true, we want you to give it a thumbs up. But if what he says is not true, be sure to put your thumbs down. Are you ready to play? Ari, what do you think? I'm so excited. It's going to be great. Question number one. King Nebuchadnezzar's armies beat Daniel's king and armies in battle. Is this true? Thumbs up. Or not true? Thumbs down. That's right. Your thumb should be up. King Nebuchadnezzar's armies won. Daniel's king lost. Number two. Daniel and his friends wanted to go see where this new king lived, and so they volunteered to leave home and travel with him to a faraway place. Is this true? Thumbs up. Or not true? Thumbs down. That's not true. All the handsome, smart young men were taken by King Nebuchadnezzar and forced to go live far away from home in his palace. Number three. Daniel and his friends did not want to eat King Nebuchadnezzar's food because the Bible told them not to eat it. Is this true or not true? Show me your thumbs. You are so right. Thumbs up. Daniel and his friends only wanted to do what the Bible said and the king's meat was unclean. Last question, number four. God blessed Daniel and his friends for doing the right thing and obeying what the Bible said. Is this true or not true? This is definitely true. God blessed Daniel and his friends by keeping them healthy and helping them gain understanding and knowledge in this strange new place. Great job, everybody.